It's why we love to read those great epics, because the first time we see Odysseus in Odyssey 5, what's he doing? Well, he's crying. Right? He, he wants to go home. He can't go home. Heroes in the classic tradition often weep, often cry. <sighs> I'm so tired. I'm done with it. Oh, despair. Ready to give up? Here's my neck. Our heroes in the classic tradition often weep, often cry, often down. It have to be what? Resurrected, lifted up. And we need somebody to come along and to say, you're not done. Up on your feet. This is no time to tire. The man who lies asleep will never awaken fame in his desire. In other words, it's, no, 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 you're not done. Done? What do you mean done? I seize the descending man, right? Raise him with resistless will. By God, you shall not go down. Notice all these exclamation points. And again, this God-breathed kind of thing, with tremendous breath. The Greeks invent this idea, and of course it's right there in the very opening verses of Genesis 1, right? Hang your whole weight on me. And I would say all of these passages are getting us ready. By the time we finish, we'll understand why it is the great teacher. Every room of the house do I fill with an armed force. Dude, you cannot finish reading this stuff and not somehow feel elated. Somehow feel encouraged, somehow feel alive again. Yeah.